Hey, what's up everybody? My name is TrophyNet, the babbling Belgian, and welcome back to God of War. Last time we uh, reached the top of the mountain, which apparently is not the highest point in all the realms. Found the tree man, man tree, and immediately decided to decapitate the man and wear his hat as a sort of fanny pack. Um, yeah, this game is a bit weird, but um, yeah, so we need to head to the realm of the giants i think it's jotunheim is probably the realm of the giants i suppose and uh because there's a, a mountain that's higher and it's over there somewhere if you look through the through the gate but uh, yeah apparently we need to go down again and probably get back to the bridge and somehow reach jotunheim because there was no bridge towards jotunheim which means we need to find an alternative do you remember the way to the witch's house yes the woods with the blood red leaves, south of the lake. I know just where to go. Indeed, because of course we've been there already. I hope she made it back from Alfheim and can bring Mimir back. He seemed nice, before you cut off his head. Yeah, indeed, before we just blatantly cut off his head. I know I know he asked for it, but still, it's, it's a bit old. So, ooh. So we could technically just return to the bridge, but is there something over here? No, absolutely nothing. Okay, then I think I'm gonna use this opportunity to check out a few extra stuff around the lake, because I kind of have the feeling, and somebody in the comments already uh, mentioned it as well, that I uh, should explore that area a bit more. So we'll do just that. And there we go. How is this? Ah, okay, so it's literally just a doorway. Ooh. Yeah, we've never done this before. Boy, stay on the path. Right, right, I know. Where, where is he going? What, what? I can't believe it was Balder that came to our house. The Acer God. Balder. And you fought him. And won. Yes. One of Odin's sons, Thor's brother. And now he's hunting us with his nephews. Why is this happening? If we can raise the head, you can ask him. Okay. Yeah, indeed. What is you know, this, by the way? Silly, but I secretly hope we find a giant somewhere in that mountain. I guess they really did leave Midgard, except for the serpent. Maybe the last of his kind. So. Maybe the last of your kind too? Is that why you don't like to talk about my the... kind? I mean, your family, before mother and I, where you came from, mother, father. Now is not the time for that. Yes, sir. Yeah, because, yeah, his, his father is, of course, Zeus, and his mother was... Oh, I'm really struggling to remember, but I think his mother was some sort of nymph. Uh, what's this? We jump. Really? Wait, jump? Why, why would we jump? Oh, God. I think I just accidentally pressed something. Dad! Where are we even jumping to? <laughs> okay, you were warned not to stray from the path. <laughs> okay, never mind. Um, fuck me for being curious, I guess. He just committed suicide with, with his son. Um, can we walk around this thing? We probably shouldn't stray from the path. Does that count for glowing? I don't know where to go now. We just need to go in here then? Oop. Oh, okay. That did not work the way I anticipated it going. Ah, but this is correct. Okay. Um, he's walking automatically. Can't do anything about this. Rock! 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 What? I'm on a fucking break. Don't hear me screeching at you whenever you're twiddling your short and curlies. Leave him, boy. No, Pep. Well, you already soiled my solitude, so you may as well join me. You're not hungry. Good. It's not what I was offering. It looks Sorry, delicious, though. Congratulations. And I'm sure you let him go and roger my axe good and plenty again, hmm? Let's see the damage. It looks fine to me, but... 
little canker throat wouldn't know proper weight and balance if it were dangling off his chut. Mm. He eating well enough? <laughs> so he is kind of worried. Good. All better. Why does that keep happening? I feel like they just... Oh, so they swap now, marks the every else? time that happens. Huh? Times he gets so wrapped up in his work, Sentry has it the sense to sip or sup. And if he does remember, good luck getting him to cook his own meat. Guess I got all the stomach in the family. <laughs> Along with the smarts. You miss him. What, that spit fister? What do you know? I just mean... Hey, do you mind? I'm trying to concentrate here, already on a break from my break. Indeed, so let's I need that just, okay. for something I'm stewing up for you. If in your smarts you'll find him. Okay, so we can talk more to him again. Hey, where's your beast of burden? What do you mean? I ate her. Fat bits of her out just a while ago. What is wrong with you? What? Her milk ran dry. She was your friend. Then she'll be happy I'm so well fed. Shit bricks, boy, you got a real sentimental streak, know that? Don't get yourself confused out there. I'm getting back to it. Wait, so was the dead cock lump we found before actually his? Because we found one of those creatures dead before. Just gonna quickly check his inventory and we'll uh, get on our way again then. No, so we upgraded uh, our talisman and that's pretty much it. Um, let's head to the lake first. We're gonna check out that place a bit more and uh, I'll get back to you once I find something. Boy, what is the path back to the witch? First, we need to find a boat. So I think this side, the left side, is uh, the side I haven't really checked the witch from here. That one. anymore. Find the big statue of Thor. But there was a way towards the side quest. I'm just gonna check if I can do any of those. But just, I'm just gonna, well, so, row around here a bit. Know any good stories side. to pass the time? What kind of story? I don't know. Mother always had stories. Once you told me when you were a boy? There was a man I knew a long ago. His stories were brief and purposeful. Sounds fun. Do you remember any? Huh. There was one that concerned a hare and a tortoise. Like the witch's house? Unlikely. So what happens? They wager on a race between them. The hare is too confident of victory and foolish, while the tortoise is steady and disciplined. The tortoise wins. You haven't told a lot of stories, have you? No, he didn't. Oh, what the hell? The head is on the boat. <laughs> Why is the head on the boat like that? That's a bit a bit weird. That's not good parenting. But uh, yeah, the Volander Mines. I think one of the two side quests was here, I think. Can I just... please? Can I dock, please? Yeah, there we, oh, okay. There we, there we go. No, forwards, backwards. There we go, there it is. Those prompts are really, really uh, annoying sometimes, but the Volander Mines. Let's see if I'm uh, properly leveled for this place, because I've uh, been through a few places already where I uh, encountered high level enemies that I couldn't really, couldn't really fight against. So, it's the alchemist, so the Brock uh, side quest is supposed to be over here somewhere in the Volander Mines. So let's uh, let's take a look around. Might actually find something. Ooh. So this looks like we need to head through, but there was another path. Oh no, it's the same. It's the same path. Never mind. Never you mind. Pot. It's other pot. There we go. There we go. Let's squeeze Boy. in between here. I feel like the head of the of Mimir is really uh, it really kind of looks like Medusa's head and well except for the fact that we can't really use it or uh, or um, how, what was his name um, Helios Helios's head uh, that we used in God of War 3 we ripped his head off and then we used it as a lantern of some kind so uh, it's kind of weird that Mimir's head doesn't have a secondary purpose for now but uh, maybe that's coming along later. Soft Svartalfheim steel and World Serpent scale fragments. I need those for a few things. Interesting. Okay. Please share, boy. Please share. 
Through this path lies the mines of Volander. This great endeavor was made possible by Andvari, the alchemist son of Vivaldi, through whose ingenuity the very stone and bedrock was turned from obstacle to mighty tool of industry. A dwarven miner's greatest fear has always been running afoul of the ancients, but through Andvari's genius, they are now no more than tools in our righteous undertaking. A new age for dwarves dawns here, no mere miners but masters of iron, whose greatest craft is the future itself. So apparently Andvari was uh, the dwarf who uh, set the blacksmithing tradition, uh, well, going. He started it all. There's a little dead fish around here. There we go. One giant leap. I hear, I hear a blacksmith already. I just heard the clank of a hammer. Hello? Okay, needed to crawl there for a second. Let's turn around. Oh no, of course, obviously. Clear up that alchemist, what needed finding? Um, why are you... Oh, never mind. Never, never mind. Let's read this. Can you read it? Yes, sir. Uh, these runes read death inside. Oh, great. That's, that's perfect. Death inside. Let's just open this up. Wait. Oh yeah, that's the key we got from Brock. Okay. Find a dwarf with a green ring. Second hand soul. Okay. So, Brock said his friend was dwarven like him. Wearing a green ring. Look if you wish. I will be gathering resources for our journey. You don't want to help him? No. Why not? Because I do not run errands for dwarves. Oh. Hmm. But uh, yeah, I do this. So um, I'm hoping we get something nice out of this. Okay. That sounds. What's that in the wall? Yeah. Oh. That's a soul eater. If that kills us, that's it. No Valhalla, no hell, no after ever. It does not attack. It looks like an ancient. Ah. Oh. Mom made them sound more dangerous than that. Then do not drop your guard. Yeah, he Come. just opened up the gate. Okay. This is interesting. Because that's, that's something we haven't seen before. And the cutscene kind of indicates that we wouldn't have seen that otherwise as well. So, interesting. Let's check this out. That was actually buried. It's also a first, but never mind. Um, hmm. That seems like a bit of a puzzle. And there we go. Jesus Christ, okay. Shit, I'm not gonna make it. There we go. Those nightmares are real bitches. There we go. Okay, that was that was really necessary because uh, that came on heavy all of a sudden. Whew, okay, okay. I think I saw Heldstone a big bit uh, so further we away. It. Must have been part of that alchemist crew. Oh, yeah, indeed, because he's a dwarf and he got squashed. Um, don't see. Can I boost Atreus up? No. We find that a bit weird that that's so contextual. Sometimes we can boost them up, sometimes we can't. So, I'm guessing I need to drop that down. It's gonna drop down, and it explodes immediately. Hmm. Not what I anticipated it doing, but I thought it was gonna drop into the water, carry it along with the current, so we could open up the door. But I'm guessing we can just open up the door. Can I? No, can't climb up there. 
Which is weird because it doesn't look like there's... Oh yeah, there's a tunnel behind it. Never mind, we'll see that in a second then. Oh, one, two, three. I'm gonna suppose that drops back down or not? Because it dropped down when the uh, Soul Eater dropped it. Okay then. There we go. One, two, three, and smack. Okay, I am blocking, but... Jesus. And smack. Oh, I, I, yeah, I kind of set fire to myself there. It's electric. Oh, wow. Yep, that was a bit of a hazardous environment. One, two, three. You just need to stay over here. And throw her projectile back. Okay, she can combo pretty severely now. There we go. Okay. Ready and wait. There we go. That takes care of that. Okay. She had a bit more attacks, and that was kind of putting me off there. But uh, and I, and of course the fact that I kept dropping down more and more levels of whatever the hell that was. But we got a bit of health back, and it seems we're back in some sort of miney area with more claws. Which wasn't the most interesting of bits. And another hey. dead dwarf. I, I noticed the lack of ring while looting the body. Oh. <laughs> okay then. Uh, dropping down, I think I saw... Is there another one? No, they're dead, right? Okay. They make kind of a squeaky noise when they Boy, die as well. Over here. Ah, Sir. another scroll. And then I'll open that up while we're at it. Hey, it's Ooh. Find the location from the scroll. Dead and bloated. The troll who killed my kin is slain, but the battle has taken its toll. I've buried whatever I have left near his corpse. Ingrid and I used to frequent this beach to watch the sunrise over the temple. Huh. Okay. Seems actually worth it, those treasure uh, maps. But it's a beach, so I'm guessing we won't be able to see that pretty soon. But that's probably back at the lake. But there are a lot of sidetracks. Holy hell. I'm gonna... So there's the sea. Because I saw the CRN, I think, yeah, over there. It's a gate instead of a... Something useful this time. Oh, why did I drop down? This is not good. This looks like an arena. Oh, no, wait. Is this? Yeah, this is the place where I dropped down with the uh, the Revenant before. Okay. There we go. Exploded and what's beneath that? Nothing. But that's the Soul Eater and there's another... Um, I can just open this up, right? Yeah, there we go. Get the ring on that severed hand. Attached to the soul eater. Oh, great. Well, we know what happened to Invari now. We can just go tell Brock. No need to fight it. Was he right? killed by the soul eater? Or we'll is he it. the soul we'll eater fly. now? Because you are frightened of it. Okay, defeat the soul eater. Fair enough. I think we almost opened up the door now, and I don't really see a way through here, which is fine. I don't really feel like fighting that thing immediately now. Uh, and that seems to be it. Yeah. No, no, no. Oh, fuck. And 
There we go. There goes the nightmare. There we go. Okay, there's a lot more stuff spawning now. Just want to try and get the easiest guys out of there. Uh, boom! He got into the fire, which is great. And uh, smack. Okay. And together we die. There we go. Okay. That was awesome. I do like fights that flow like that because that would. Uh, it, it really clicks when you start to get into the rhythm and uh, just go from one enemy to the next without getting interrupted. Um, so we're missing one more letter, I think. So the R. Aha, and the R is right over there, which is fine by me if I just do that. There's also an explosive pot ready to be dropped. Oh, there we go. It gave me a bit of hack silver. I don't know what else that did, but it did make everything go boom. But let's cross the bridge and open up the gate. Be strong, Atreus. Stay focused. And look for a weak point. Okay, yes, that means we're heading straight into the Soul Eater fight, I suppose. Yeah, let's just get that health stone going. Um. Hmm. There we go. Stay quiet. Make no sudden movement. Do I need to sneak up on it or what? Oh yeah. Focus up. Ah yeah. It's pretty much the same fight as the uh Can I just throw it? Yeah. Okay. Just need to be careful that I don't. Let's just get it, let's just get it, there we go. There we go. Taking care of. Okay, and now the dog is... Believe it. You are stronger than you know. Indeed we are, boy! Let's see if that's the alchemist ring. Okay, so again, a lot of loot. A bit of rage. Ooh, that was a lot of hack silver actually. World Serpent Scales. And the Alchemist Ring. Green Ring belonging to Brock's friend, Anvari. Brock will probably want to give this a look. Ashes, most likely. The Soul Eater got him. I guess we should bring this back to Brock. Indeed, but there's a lot of other stuff here. Soft Svartalfheim Steel and... The Fire Sigil of Protection increases resistance to burn damage by 20%. Ooh, that might be situationally... Interesting. There we go. Just gonna blow up a few things to see if there's anything uh, hiding behind it. There's a lot of those crystals here as well. That's kind of weird. But more loot. Maybe a bit of uh, equipment, usually in those golden chests. There we go. Fury of the Ice Troll, a quick radial shockwave attack that slows enemies and sends them flying back. And, ooh. Um, so, that is similar to what I already have, I think. So I have this one. Yeah, it's 10 seconds longer cooldown, but it looks a bit more awesome. And it's only a thousand to upgrade, actually. There we go. And actually 4,000 now to greatly increase frost damage and decrease the charge time. Hmm, just gonna wait with that. So I think I should be investing in a few stun attacks as well. So I'm going to go with the Guardian Sweep. There we go. 
And then even the, the new one, the Guardian's Revenge. Switch stances by pausing momentarily after any barehanded attack. Once in a new stance, press R1 to perform a powerful uppercut and press R1 again to perform a follow-up slam attack, which sounds amazing. There we go. So that sounds like really, really awesome stuff. Um, just gonna up the fire rate of the Talon bow as well. There we go, spent most of my uh, experience points there. So we can now get up. Yeah, the mine in here just stops, so the crystals are probably just... Uh, to show you that they found a lot of stuff in the mines. Is there something hiding behind this fire? Doesn't seem like it. So let's head up. I need to boost the Treyas up and he's gonna just drop down the chain, which is fine by me. Um... There's another explodey barrel over there, but I don't think it will really matter. There we go. And that allows me to also climb up there. And I think there's another chest hiding in this area somewhere. And more uh, words. Sir, these runes were written fast. It spells out... Ejim Staney. Ejim Staney. If this is a message from Anvari, what does he mean? Is it something about the ring we found on his hand? Let's ask Brock. Hmm. I don't know that one. We will ask the blue one. So now you're interested? We found his alchemist. A reward was promised. Indeed, a reward was promised. So the stuff over there. Hmm. Let's see. Seems like he can. Okay. Um. I'm just going to smack him off the edge if I can. Okay, there we go. There we go, off his feet. And yeah, he's, he's gone. He's gone. I could grab him, but yeah, he's gone. So there is this thing. I can climb around here, which is interesting. And pull myself up and then jump over there and that gets us this item, whatever it is. Huh. Seems like we could... Does that just get me back down there? Yeah, probably. It's probably the, the faster way back anyway. So more Draugr while we're moving out of the, uh, the area. Okay. We just blocked that off, didn't we? Block. I blocked both of those, but... Stop, stop burning, stop burning. Thank you, thank you. You lose a lot of health quickly with that burn damage. Okie doke. Let's just grab whatever they dropped. Ooh, more world serpent snake. S snakes? Scales. Scales. Oh, and now we're in that higher area. Great. Great. Don't really need to find a way around that then. And that didn't heal us up quite as much as I anticipated. But yeah, we'll make do. We'll make do. So let's uh, let's head out of the, the mines and uh, talk to Brock. Oh, and there was a tunnel here. I completely missed that the first time around. Hmm. More dead dwarves. It was a massacre. And a chest. There we go. It seemed like two items, a soft sword of Heimsteel and more World Serpent Scale Fragments, which is great. Okay, let's head back to Brock. Hello, buddy, we got find? you your ring. You're alchemist. I'm sorry, Brock. The hand is all we could find. Still wearing the ring. There was a soul eater inside, and well, it must have burned away the rest of him. Suppose you'll still be wanting some compensation, huh? Naturally. Naturally, he says. Miani for Uxie. Okay, Grip of Volunder. Very low perk activation chance to grant protective barrier, range. preventing damage from Maybe enemy attack on any successful axe hit. Dwarves can do that? Sure, dwarves and magic jewels is like flies and pig lips. Supple ones. Ugh, I'm not as interested as I thought. Let's check that out. So six strength and six defense. So warrior's protective barrier. It's the same 
Well, although I get a high perk activation after launching an enemy into the air, which is actually, yeah, mine is better. And I haven't even upgraded it yet, so... Yeah, I'm just gonna keep uh, the light grip of protection. Sad, but uh, nothing to do. So Dwarven Favor complete, second-hand soul. What's it gonna be this time? I now have enough World Serpent scale fragments to upgrade my grip. Since I'm gonna keep it, I'm just gonna upgrade it. And so sadly, I can't upgrade the bow just yet. I need a bit more hack silver. So uh, yeah, that's it for uh, Brock's side quest. I'm actually gonna take a little break after that. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this side questing route. And uh, well, next time we'll... I I think we'll be heading back to the witch's hut, unless I find a way to easily get to Sindri's side quest, which might actually be interesting as well. So uh, thank you guys enormously for watching, and hope to see you guys next time on God of War. Goodbye.